Oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, I have not one giant box. Ugh. I don't know if I'm showing you my address right now. There's a giant box. I have nowhere to put it. I have a giant bag and I have another box of Timu items today. I'm going to save the best for last. I got an expensive item. I will show you guys at the end because I do want to like test it out and everything. You guys will see at the end. I'm going to get started. There is everything from every category of Timu in this haul. I am not even kidding. I'm going to start out with like clothing i guess thing we have are some socks which i will not try on because well they're socks also i'm not wearing pink today don't know what got into me but yeah i'm wearing lavender today i'm wearing my brats t-shirt i think it's the makeup the makeup made me want to wear purple but i definitely did a tutorial on this over on my makeup channel so i will link that below i do wear other colors fyi before i even get into showing you these socks i will overlay right here my coupon code you guys can get a discount if you're a new user on timu so yes this is my coupon code all the links to all the stuff will be down below set of really cute girly socks i love the soft girl aesthetic and these socks were just too adorable. I don't know what this is, like little flower, like florals. So it came with one, two, three, four, looks like five pairs of socks. These are just like basic white socks, which will be perfect. They just have a really cute like printing design on them. And we have these, which are my personal favorite because they have the pink frills on them and the pink details and it has like the nice little like floral detail going down them i don't wear socks with heels often but if i do it would definitely be these socks so we have another set of plain like knit sweater looking ones and then we have these which just have one little tiny flower on the ankle part also i'm gonna go pretty fast because there's just so many things to show you i'm going too fast for you Next we have some pajamas oh my goodness this is so cute and i just okay let me show you the bottoms look like this they're pink like satin pajamas and they have white lace on them so so pretty i got these in a size small i believe and it looks like it's gonna fit true to size and then the top it comes with three one two three four pieces you guys for the price so it comes with the underwear okay yes i did get this in a small it has a little underwear it has the little bralette this is definitely like a cute little nighty. the bralette right here and it came with a robe on top of all that so here is the strap for the robe again i will be overlaying me trying this on so you guys can get a better view of it but the robe does have the lace on the arms and along the bottom of the robe and does this have sometimes these don't have the little hooks for the robe and that tends to bother me I don't see the little hooks for the robe strap oh, i don't like that i don't like that because then i lose it if it doesn't have the little things to put the the robe thingy the robe strap through what is it even called a robe tie yeah, I don't see the little things to tie the robe. But hey, you can always find a solution to that and like just sew it on. But, you know, safety pin it on. I don't know. But yeah, I tend to not do those solutions. So, just one downside to that. Okay, next we have, it looks like a lounge set. Very pink. I don't know why. I just got really, really hot. Oh, okay. It's not a lounge set. This is definitely a ribbed dress. It's looking a little see-through. It might be just the bright lights, but of course there will be a clip of me wearing it overlaying here where I can give you a better update whether this was see-through or not. It's one of those dresses that like ties on the boob part and then it has like the opening, which is really cute for summer. This actually feels 
pretty nice. The part where the, your boobs go is double lined, it looks like. So it's going to have a little bit of extra coverage. And we love that. Love that. We have another pajama here. This is another one of those like satin pajamas. It has a little heart. It kind of is giving me like Victoria's Secret vibes with the heart on the side. But it is really cute. It's like a button up. Um, it has the, you know, the black lining. And I will admit there's a few little like threads poking out. But it's really cute and it looks comfy. It feels soft. Quality is okay. Like it's good. It's fine. With some buttons. Very cute. Let's see what the shorts look like. Oh, these are pants. My bad. <laughs> so yeah, it came with pants. My legs will be fine. Just the ankle part is thinner than I thought. Like it doesn't flare out as much, but that's not really like a bad thing. Just an observation. Okay, not bad for the price gonna just start seeing things pile up everywhere just fyi next we have this not sure what it is go in and get some more clothing items for today's video just because definitely didn't in the last few so oh okay this is a dress it's like a tube dress um it's definitely giving see-through though like it's definitely very very see-through so just gonna have to wear nude undergarments under this and hope it's not that see-through this has pockets we love a dress with pockets this is like a bodycon style dress this material i mean it's it's okay like it's not my favorite it's giving i don't know it's not giving what i wish it gave um but it's okay i do prefer ribbed materials and stuff like that so that's just my personal thing um but yeah i mean it's i'm sure it's gonna look really cute on tube dresses are just so adorable with like sneakers and stuff but yeah you guys know i'm going to be transparent and honest with you guys about the quality of the items which ones are great which ones are okay which ones are like you know it gives what the price gives if that makes sense the dress definitely gives what the price gives some shoes so these i am excited for i love a cute sneaker I think this would be cute with that bodycon dress. I'll probably try it on together. But yeah, these look really interesting and really cute. I love these kinds of shoes or sneakers because they're easy to just slide on. Um, these are very lightweight as well. So, you know, they're not super, super heavy on the foot. And that actually is a good thing in my opinion. I like shoes that don't make my feet feel heavy i have very small feet as well so yeah i thought these were very cute we have this oh this is another little like pajama set i don't know why i just really wanted to get some pajama sets i guess so this one has the little like frills on the edges like on the bottom and they're shorts very stretchy same satin material as the other pajamas i've shown you so far it has this little like satin cami top which is really cute it feels like it will be very comfy and i believe i also got this in a size small okay we have more shoes it looks like and these look like little house shoe type slides Oh, these are really cute. So these remind me of like just ribbons and bows. Oh, very interesting. These are like really light. Like they almost feel like nothing. Like they're really foamy and like look how bendy they are, you know? But yeah, very interesting. These will definitely be worn as like house shoe slipper slides. Um, I got these in a 36, 37. They look true to size, so... I don't know, I just thought this was so cute. These literally feel like foam clouds. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna make them real comfy though because they are like squishy. And you guys, I have a purse. And this purse I got because I, ha I got this from Amazon. You guys saw it in my Amazon haul. And I wanted to compare it. So we're gonna compare it. Let me take off this. I got the same tote bag from my amazon video which you guys if you watch my last timu haul i did get the tote bag in the purple color and i decided to just get the pink one as well just to really compare like the same color to see if the color will arrive the same the color is identical i can tell you right now however this one 
arrived a little different in the Amazon one. So we had this like hanging string right here, which I just pulled off. Um, we have some more threads right in here. This one has a chemically smell as to where the Amazon one did not. It did come with a bubble. We have this strap in here. The strap looks identical. I'm going to grab the other one so we can put them side by side. The Amazon one here and then the Timu one here. Right away I'm noticing some minor differences like the pebble, like the texture of the leather. The pebbles are like a little larger on the Amazon one than the Timu one. Um, I'm also noticing that the Timu one is definitely skinnier. I think I accidentally changed them. Let me put them back so you guys get accurate. Okay, so we have Amazon right here, Timu right here. You can see that the Amazon one is slightly thicker. It's also made a little nicer. I don't know how to explain it, but it just is like almost the same thing on Timu. The differences are like very slight very minimal and if you don't mind it having a slight chemically smell and taking a little longer to arrive the timo one's definitely worth your money the amazon one is 30 something i think 30 dollars and the timo one is like under 20 dollars so um you get the same look cost a little less but i will say the Amazon one is made slightly better. Let's get into this giant box of literally every category on Timu you can think of. So the first one's a little boring. I'm going to get it out of the way. I got more of those face like drying towels or like face paper towels for drying my face after I wash it. I just wanted to get another one because love the first ones I got. Next in the, I guess, beauty category, we have this right here. This is... A brush cleaner and I will be overlaying clips of me trying this out or like in insert a clip of me trying it out and what I think but this is basically a makeup brush cleaner so you plug it in and then you click this and I don't know if it's supposed to like vibrate or turn oh I think it's supposed to like spin oh yeah it spins so that it can like scrub your brushes like your makeup brushes Guys, listen, I love doing my makeup. I love makeup in general. I love makeup brushes, which is why I came out with my own makeup brush set. But makeup brushes is something I love and I'm passionate about and have a lot of. So when it comes time to wash them, I'm always trying to find some easier solutions. Next, we have another gadget. There's a lot of gadgets in this haul, just saying. So this is a cup warmer. I got it in pink, of course. Definitely giving more of a peachy pink rather than like, you know, like a cool pink. So it's kind of like in the middle. It's really cute. And I have a mug warmer already, but um, it's getting a little worn out. That one, you just sit the mug on top and it clicks and warms it. This one, you have to actually press on or off, which might be handy because the other one, you know, I have to take the mug off of it for it to turn off. Or I have to unplug it. And this one I could just press the button. So yeah, I will probably put this one here for my vanity and leave my other one for my desk. I love me a mug warmer because who wants to go put their cup in the microwave a million times? And not this girl. They're beauty gadgets, I guess. More like hygiene gadgets. I got an electric toothbrush from Timu. Just like, it's the curiosity in me. I just want to try everything they have. Because it's like, how do they have these things for such good prices? I don't know. But guys, this literally was so inexpensive. And it is, it actually feels nice. Like, I think I showed you guys one I got from Amazon. That is not the best, like the greatest quality. This one feels a little better than that, like weight wise. Let's find out if this will turn on and off or if I had to go through like 10 settings for it to turn on and off. Let's see. Like you do have to go through all the settings for this to turn off. I feel like that's just maybe like all the toothbrushes do that. I'm definitely going to switch over to this toothbrush because I already like the way the settings are better. In nurse care and pulse polish settings. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six settings. Really, really nice. And I love that it's pink and rose gold. So pretty. And I came with a bunch of like brush heads and a charger. Next we have another accessory. This is a wallet and 
let's just see what it looks like must have been cute for me to get it i don't usually get wallets i have all the wallets i could possibly need but let's see why i ended up getting this so that's why it has a little bow so let me show you guys this is what the wallet looks like the leather feels pretty smooth it's kind of like a matte type of leather very interesting it has a little oh it's pink on the inside how cute so yeah it has a little thing you push it down to open it it had a little foam thing in there and then it has a little strap if you want to like use it as a clutch the inside of it is like interestingly a hot pink color <laughs> versus the outside thing for your cards that flips and then on the other side it has a little zipper compartment this material is just okay it's not the greatest inner lining for a wallet ever but this was so inexpensive and you can put your phone inside of this part right here so pretty cool very handy next we have another hygiene gadget can you guys tell i love timu gadgets okay i think i've mentioned to you guys before that i like to find things i'm actually going to use so yes every now and again i will try other things like the wallet or the purses but i love finding things that i actually need and don't have yet so i got me a portable oral irrigator which is basically a water pick. Instructions here that are in English. And I got the pink one, of course. I'm like very weirdly excited for this. I don't know if that's weird, but yeah, it looks like this. And I'm guessing you put the water inside of this thing, but we have like all the different attachments. It has di a bunch of different attachments. I will have to figure out what that's for and then we have a charger to recharge it very very interesting and i'm excited for this this actually has some weight to it and it does like lock in so that you can't open it it doesn't just come off and on you know what i mean it does like you twist it and then it comes off and then you have to put it in a certain way twist it again and it locks oh i accidentally turned it on but yeah it has three different settings soft normal and pulse and then here's the on and off back here is the little thingy it's hidden which is nice to charge it and it covers up with this little plastic or what is this not plastic um rubbery thing piece they have very interesting water pick i kind of want to put one of the attachments on there it feels nice to be honest so let's see let's put like the basic okay no these are plastic i think these are like just a really good plastic because they almost look like they're glass so how do you put this in you just do you force it okay yeah you just force it in i guess i can show you how it's supposed to look right here with the attachment on top we have an organization gadget and as i told you guys i like being useful so i got something to organize the bottom of my bathroom sink because i need it these are little like acrylic drawers or they're actually plastic not acrylic but yeah these are little plastic drawers to organize things i feel like i'm gonna put like extra q-tips in these and like little bathroom things like little travel size things for when i travel and these are quite small this is the size of them i'm hoping to get some of the larger ones to like put other things like women hygienic things like pads and tampons and things in there to put under my sink but this little small one will be perfect for q-tips and cotton not sure why i ended up with two of these but i will be giving one to my sister-in-law because she's been needing a little makeup mirror and that's what this is and i thought this would be perfect to travel with because i don't have like a mirror to travel with so this you i think charge it and it lights up I'm trying to figure out how we okay so it has this thing so you can like stand it up and yeah i guess it's did not come charged so i will have to charge it and overlay clip here of it lit up but the mirror is really nice it zooms in like a little bit it's a really nice mirror to do your makeup with 
especially while traveling and i love that it has a light you never know when you're going to be in a dark hotel room or something again i will overlay it lit up here if it has any like different settings or anything i like i said i ended up with two except this one is like thinner than the other one weirdly enough it might also be a bit smaller oh look this one came charged oh so it has different light settings so there's like a cool light a warm light and a daylight setting okay that's not like the strongest oh it dims okay so if you press and hold it you can dim it or you can brighten it it's not gonna be like as bright as my led light obviously which i'm staring at right now so but it it's bright enough to do your face for sure i picked up another small gadget that i've already been using this is a candle lighter and i love these this is a rechargeable candle lighter i love having a rechargeable candle lighter who uses normal lighters nowadays i don't know but this one you just you know one thing i've been meaning to get from timo i keep forgetting is a little kit like the little scissors to cut the wick off the candle but yeah it lights up the candle super quick i definitely forgot to light it for this video so we lit it up real quick so this does work very very well this feels exactly like the ones i've gotten on amazon for way more than what this one was so i got this i thought this was gonna be wooden for some reason i didn't really read the description so that's my fault but this is like a little bag on the picture i saw this with flowers inside and i thought it was like a really cute decor piece it's basically imitating a little purse but this could be like just little gift bags i think this would be even cute as like party favors um i definitely was expecting it to be more of a decor piece so i will probably be um gifting this to somebody because it's not exactly what i thought i guess not in a bad way like i just didn't read it like i should have but yeah it has this little thing these little chains these would be so cute for like a little girl's birthday just to put like the party favors or like the, the candy or the goodies so yeah this is what it looks like i saw it on timu with flowers inside it like a decor piece and i ordered the flowers too which are in this box somewhere so when i come across them i will show you guys what i thought i was going to use this for so picked up these lace socks it comes with a bunch of them of course the listing will be overlaying right here so you guys will see but these are just little lace socks i'm not sure how these will stay up on my feet or if they will or not just because they're a little different like i will show you guys what i mean like they just i didn't even know what they were when i first opened them i had to look up what i bought to figure it out but yeah these are lace socks got a beauty item this is a highlighting powder i don't even remember adding this to my cart but i must have so i added this to my cart because i kept seeing this all over tiktok it's basically a little like shimmer spray let me remove the little cap and i'm just gonna oh that is adorable so this just sprays glitter all over you this is cute this is really cute very interesting oh oh it has a scent it smells like baby powder very adorable so i have another beauty gadget i got a heated eyelash curler i've never tried one but as you guys know i'm into like doing just lashes like my natural lashes and not fake lashes sometimes i don't always do my makeup like this <laughs> you know what i mean so i was very intrigued to try a heated eyelash curler as a little button and it's pink so like it's really cute i've seen this gadget other places for a lot more so i don't know if it's the same thing or not but i think i need to probably charge it because it's not turning on so we will charge it and test it out for a makeup video on my makeup channel again subscribe to that if you are interested in seeing another like home item this is a little basket like go in your fridge like you could put it and have like fresh fruit in here or have things in here to organize your fridge pretty much and it expands to be bigger so you could even use this to like rinse your fruit out 
in the sink i've seen people where they like rinse their fruit and they like straight up put it in the fridge in this which sounds very convenient very easy so yeah i love that it gets smaller or bigger so it'll fit any size fridge and of course the best part of it it's pink oh these are sunglasses <laughs> okay i totally forgot about these so i got these i'm gonna be honest these are plastic this gold part plastic not metal okay just making sure you guys know what you're getting so these are these are cute like fashion glasses like for a photo shoot and i like them they're they actually they look cute i got this for when i vlog let me explain so this is going to be perfect to put my vlogging camera and there's also another side where I can put all the memory cards and extra batteries and things which will be perfect for vlogging because my vlog camera run through like two or three batteries on that camera when I do a vlog so it, I always have to carry extra batteries and then they end up all over my purses so it's nice to have a little organizer to put all of my vlogging essentials and this is going to be put to good use ASAP another gadget so what do you know are you even surprised at this point i got <laughs> i will overlay me trying this because i don't even know how this works but this is a toothpaste dispenser yeah i know i am um just trying it all so i think you put your toothpaste guys i have no idea we're just going to overlay me trying this because genuinely could not tell you okay it has like a command strip thingy on it so you can stick it to the wall or whatever and you basically put your toothbrush in here it looks like you push onto this white thing and it's supposed to like squeeze your toothpaste hmm i, I can't figure out how it works just by looking at it so we will figure it out by trying it here in basically right now Hey, we have another beauty gadget. So this is actually a hair tool. Very interested to try hair tool from Timu. When I saw they had hair tool, oh, the, when I saw they had hair tools, I was like, wait a minute. How? This is so pretty. You guys are not even gonna believe it. And oh wow, it feels sturdy. So I think it's supposed to be like a hair straightener. It's very interesting. These are not actual brush bristles. They're just like like a comb i guess but yeah we will try this see how it works but the colors guys it's pink and rose gold and just gorgeous very intrigued of like settings for the temperature and an on and off button all beauty items so i accidentally ordered another one of these nail clippers i already have one of these it's so cute Maybe I just need to do a giveaway, so. I also got lashes, so I did end up liking the last two new lashes I got. I'm wearing them currently. They're just, you know, they're good lashes. There's nothing wrong with them. So yeah, I got these lashes right here. They look so fluffy and pretty. If you guys wanna see me trying these lashes, definitely check the makeup channel. I will try them for one of my next makeup tutorials or trying new makeup videos. Of course, got some more press-on nails, although I'm not impressed with these. So um, I will overlay, obviously, the picture of what they're supposed to look like, but this is what I got. Hey, they're not terrible but don't love them and then i got these which i do really like butterflies on them very very cute of course the picture will be overlaying of what these are supposed to look like so got these which i will be trying over on my beauty channel or makeup channel as well and these are little it's really hard to show you they're tiny but they're little sponges and it has like a little thing for your Hello. It has a little thing where you like slip them into your finger and then you can like quickly set smaller areas. So I love trying things that will make my makeup routine easier. So we will put those in my beauty vanity drawer that I'm putting everything in right now so we can try them for one of my next beauty videos. Hair accessories. Of course, I told you guys we're going to have like every category. So this is interesting i don't braid my hair i don't know well i know how to braid but i just don't take the time to do it so i thought this would be really cute to 
just wear and I'm gonna mess it up a little bit um, just because how it came some of it was pulled out some wasn't so I'm gonna just yeah so yeah it's a little braid headband and I thought this would be cute although it looks a little shinier than my hair because it's not real hair obviously but it's very cute I think I will probably um, put some dry shampoo on it just to make it look more real like the hair but it was so inexpensive and you know, instantly elevated my little bun hairstyle I have going on. Keep it on for now. Hair clip and mainly got this because it's pink and fuzzy. <laughs> and I use hair clips all the time. I just love a good hair clip. So here it is. Very baby pink and very, very fuzzy. By the way, I'm wearing Timu nails right now, if you guys are wondering. Wear this. I could do like a little half up with this little fuzzy clip. So cute. Lastly, I picked up a bow. This is so big. So much bigger than I anticipated, but it's so cute. You always know I love doing like a bow on a half up do or whatever. Very, very, very cute. We have... Is this the jewelry? Yes, I got some jewelry. I'm telling you guys, I wanted to just try everything from every category. We have this gorgeous heart necklace. I'm just gonna get close up. Okay, here's the necklace. It actually says love on it. I didn't notice that, but it's really cute. I love a cute heart necklace. This is stainless steel. And I'm trying to like do a jewelry organization video and make my jewelry really cute, like aesthetic. And so I've been looking for pieces that would just serve as like filler in my closet until I get like you know better quality jewelry I do love like Tiffany's and Pandora's which is where a lot of my daily jewelry comes from that I wear but I will wear something like this as like a fashion piece sometimes as well so I just really like dainty jewelry though of course you guys know my collection involves a lot of like Ana Luisa and things that are real gold and like real jewelry but sometimes I do like a cute little fashion piece that I don't have to worry about ruining because it was inexpensive. I'm going to stay close up so I can show you guys all the jewelry. Bracelet here. I'm just, this is how it comes packaged. I'm just going to take it out for me to, guys, to show you guys this is to like put it on. So I'm going to do that. So here's what it looks like. I really like that this is adjustable because I do have a rather small wrist. So I can adjust it. And this is really pretty for a jewelry piece that was on Timu to be honest very impressed and this will be really cute as also like a filler piece in my jewelry so we have another necklace this one is also stainless steel I don't know if this one was or not but the listing of course will have been overlaid okay so this one came very interesting so it has a little packet with the chain and then it has the actual like necklace charm here and it just says scorpio you guys know i'm a scorpio so, okay i definitely wanted to see what these were about they look like pandora charm bracelets so i just wanted to see it's really cute oh my goodness this actually has some weight to it and this little heart it's like double-sided like everything's double-sided and on the inside it says first my mother i don't know why it says that but you can't really see it so it's fine this one actually has a clasp so not gonna be the easiest for me to put on by myself or it might be let's see I, I was able to put it on it's a little big for my little wrist <laughs> but i feel like i might be it, it might be okay because charm bracelets can sometimes sit a little lower and it's fine um, but yeah, this is what she looks like. If you have a thicker wrist than me, you will love this. Try to make it smaller somehow to fit like this. But it's so cute. It definitely is giving Pandora. And it was so inexpensive. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so this is what it's giving right here. <laughs> These are the bracelets. They are so pretty and they look so shiny. I have one more like necklace um, earring set, I guess. And this is definitely, again, one of those like fashion pieces that will be used as such. Oh, it's like 
think I grabbed one of the earrings. Really very, very lightweight. You'll want to be careful with this, but it's a little pearl heart with little pearls all over it. It is very pretty. <laughs> so cute. I love jewelry like this. The earrings look like this. The other earring. This reminds me of the Juicy Couture jewelry from Ross, if you know what I'm talking about, that had the pearl heart. Lastly, we have some rings. They all arrived in these little pouches. This is a size 6 ring. Here is the first ring. Super pretty. You wouldn't even know this is Timu. It's quite interesting how pretty and shiny this is. I don't know if this was like $2 or $3 or something like that, but it was very inexpensive. We have this one right here. I don't know what size this one is. It looks like it's a size 5. This one is silver with the pink gem. And this is a size 5, so fits my it'll probably fit my index finger a lot better than my ring finger. Let me try that. Yes, it fits my ring finger a little better. Okay, and we have one last ring, which is a gold one. And this is a size 5 as well, it looks like, because it doesn't fit my middle finger. And I think this is supposed to mimic an engagement ring because it has all the little diamonds under here. Kind of like my actual engagement ring has. But yeah, I mean, if you guys want to compare it, like, real diamonds right here... And not real. So, I mean, you can't really tell, I feel like. I mean, my engagement ring needs to be cleaned. Obviously, these are new and I'm sure wearing them, they will get worn and things. But they are super shiny and, like, impressive. It's very, very impressive. There are some Timu jewelry pieces for you guys if you were curious. Okay, let's see. Yes, I'm still... So I tried to put some dry shampoo on this headband. I don't know if it worked or not. You guys let me know. You be the judge. What else do we have? Oh, we have some more like items. So this is a little like towel to wash your face or dry your face. Sorry. This is a little towel to dry your face. It's like that really soft fabric and you can just hang this and it looks really, really cute. Oh, I found the flowers that are supposed to come with not come with but the flowers i got to go inside of that little purse thing okay they actually looked look cute they're not squished so this is what the flowers look like and obviously you would have to cut this stem for it to fit correctly but what i saw was something like this do you guys get what i'm trying to, to show you and I just thought this was going to be like a wooden vase or something like that to put the flowers in. But it's it's more like a cardboard piece. But it's still really cute, actually. This would be a cute like party decoration. Like if you're doing a birthday party or something, I won't be using it for that, obviously. I will probably take these and make a little vase for my bathroom or something. But, but these flowers are surprisingly very cute. Like way better quality than Dollar Tree. I don't know, I'm pretty impressed by these. They remind me of something I'd find at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. And I did end up keeping all these bracelets on. I will take them off later. I have this right here, which are some gloves it looks like. Ooh, they're super soft. Very cute, oh my goodness. These are adorable. I recommend. The quality is there for these. These do not feel like gloves I got on Timu. They're so soft. So cute. These make me think of like Kate Spade. These are adorable. Okay, um, we have another bag of things here. I got one of these things to do heatless curls. I've been doing heatless curls lately, but I used like my robe strap from one of my fuzzy robes. So I'm excited to have one of these and you guys all know what this is. You know, you guys have probably seen this. It does come with instructions on the front and two hair ties so that you can tie the end. This is what it looks like. I have shorter hair, but this does look decently long. Let me just... Yeah, this is the length of it if you're curious. Have, oh, these are very interesting. So these are air frying silicone... Um liners or like little trays to put in your air fryer so yeah you put your food in here that you're gonna air fry and you air fry it so yeah these are little silicone thingies 
I feel like these will be very, very useful in our kitchen. We currently have like throwaway liner. So they have other colors besides pink, if you don't like pink. So we have a makeup bag. I was intrigued by this makeup bag. I saw really great reviews on this makeup bag because it just opens up all the way when you're traveling. And I mean, I'm just gonna put the random stuff I see in here. Oh, interesting. So it's like one big compartment and this actually does not separate the bag. It's just like sitting there in the middle. But you could put your eyelash glue or like small things in here like your eyeliners. And then we even have like these pockets on the sides. Oh, the functionality of this. This is very interesting. It says Rose of No Man's Lano. No idea what that means. But yeah, it's pink and gold and cute and it's gonna be very very handy for traveling to put makeup in this i wish the lining was pink but aside from that no complaints we have two more items this next item is another home item i saw these and this is like a command strip like hook and i thought this would be cute to hang my satin robes since they're not as heavy as my fuzzy robes i hang my fuzzy robes on like a hook thing that goes over the door so I'm either going to use it for that or to hang my card holders that have a keychain, like my juicy ones. Very, very cute. I saw someone on YouTube hang their juicy key holders like that. Can't remember who it was. But it was a really cute idea. If I remember her username, I will put her down below. But yeah. Next item I have is in a little box. This is really cute. Oh, I ripped the bow off. <laughs> Oops, got this and this is like a little safety keychain thing. So let me show you what I mean. So it has a little strap and then it comes with this. I think this is just for like, you know, cuteness, like to add cuteness to it. It has this, which I believe is a little bottle for your hand sanitizer or lotion. It doesn't actually have hand sanitizer or lotion in it. It's just a little bottle for it. This, which... I'm not sure what it is i don't know what this one's for but you will see in the photo here and then it came with this let me see i think this is like an alarm a personal attack alarm i don't know how you would set it off or how it would work it tells you how it works here i think i'm supposed to like oh it has a little paper so i don't know let's see what it does. idea how you would set off the alarm oh i think you pull it oh that's really loud i turned it down for you guys in the editing so your ears don't die okay you're welcome super loud like somebody better come to your rescue because girl slash does other things i don't know you guys know they always make these kinds of keychains for men minus the alarm of course and so you know like the gadget keychains and i thought this was so cute because it's a gadget keychain for a woman for a girl and it has a safety alarm we all know i live in la now so all you do is you pull you pull this thing off like you yank it off and the alarm goes off so if somebody's trying to rob you or anything it'll maybe at least scare them away i hope i don't know but yeah really cool little idea timu so i love that we have something in here Oh, you guys are gonna love this. Definitely saving the best for last. Both of the last two items are coffee items. And this one in particular is so cute. So a lot of you guys saw the tumbler I got from, I believe it was Marshall's. And you say you have not been able to find that tumbler in that color. But Timu has them. So hello. This one was cute. This is a lighter pink than my other one. The other one I have is more of a blue pink. So yeah. This one is definitely a different shade of pink. So I will be keeping both because this one will match different things and the other one will match more blue pink. So I was very interested in trying or getting one of these from Timu because I see them. I see all the reviews they have and I can say it looks good. It looks really, really good. All right, guys. So from Timu, I got this machine. Yep, an espresso machine, if you can believe it. This was under $100, so it's a little questionable. But we're going to go ahead and make some coffee in it. I have all my supplies over here. And let's see if it works. And I get wants to say hi. Okay, say hi. Say hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. 
My mom won't give me any attention, help. So I guess you guys are going to be getting a little espresso tutorial. First, you want to make sure you have your finely grinded coffee. If you don't have finely grinded coffee, make sure you just blend it in your Nutribullet or blender. You just press it in and you click it in. And all you do is press the button. I did already add water to the espresso machine. So yeah, um, and then here it is pouring out. It's beautiful. This machine worked really, really well. I'm very impressed. And then I did make sure and steam froth some milk with this little thing you just press the steam button which i could not get a good clip of i'm so sorry but it did work it has a little knob and you just like twist it and it it steams your milk you press the button and then you twist the knob and then yeah here's a beautiful latte i made with my timo espresso maker what the heck all right guys that's everything that i got from timu if you want any of the items i showed again links all down below in the description box if you guys found the emojis make sure you leave them in the comment section okay i love you and i will see you in the next video bye